I'm going to show you in this lesson how to make type on a custom path and how to fill that type with an image. We're going to do a very basic path. We'll get more complex in other lessons. But uh, first let me give the attribution. This image is done by Ian Kirk from the UK. And if I turn this image off, and you see this one, this is Alan Fitzsimmons from ESO Labs, and this picture was taken in Chile. So we're going to be using these images. We're going to be using the Chile image as a background. The clouds are going to be a, the fill for our type layer. The first thing I want to show you is I want to get the character panel up because we are going to use it. It doesn't matter what color the type is because we're going to fill it with the cloud image. But one thing I want you to understand is paragraph matters. You don't want it centered when you first type the type. You can center it afterwards. But for some reason, if it's centered, it doesn't spread out left and right like you'd expect it to. You, you lose some of your type. If you type it left justified, then center it, it'll be fine. In fact, let me show you. I'm going to go over here and get the pen tool. Click, curve. I'm going to make a pretty simple one. Curve, curve, and curve. And then I'm going to get the type tool. The type tool. And see, the, see, it's in that square box. When you see the little the little curve by the eye beam, click, and let's see, let's type something like don't, and you see, I have it on centered, and it has right there, right there is the problem. We can't see, and I've typed some other letters, you can't see a darn thing. So I'm going to get rid of this um, layer, this, I'm sorry, cancel, this type layer by just, let's see, let's move into, into here. See, it shows what I've already typed. Of course, I misspelled, but let's dump this layer. See, there's a work path. I'm going to also delete the work path. I can just heat hit the delete key to get rid of the path. I'm going to move back to left justified. And I'm going to get the pen and I'm going to start the path. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. So, and click and drag. You can make a linear path too. I'm just, I'm just not right at the moment. So there, see my cursor. Now I see the little curve and Let's go, don't, oops, don't make Zeus angry. And then I'm going to go up here to my little check mark. Great. I can make, now I can hit the center justified and the type will move and left justified or right justified. But for some reason, if you start out center justified, it's just going to make you crazy. I'm, so make sure you start out left justified, and then once you type your type, you can move it around on your custom path. I think the type could be heavier. I'm not sure if bold Baskerville is going to be heavy enough. It's OK. Let's leave it at that. Let's make it all caps. We have a big enough path. We've got it all caps. I'm going to go back to paragraph and center it. And I'm going to go to my move tool and move it over here. Now, I want to fill this. Oh, I want to fix the kerning. I have to go back to the type tool to fix the kerning. There's lots of things you can change when you're not in the type tool, but kerning isn't one of them. So I'm going to hit the T key to get the type tool and click in between the N and the G. Hold the Option key, Alt key on the PC, and I'm going to use my left arrow key on the keyboard and bring the G and the N slightly closer together. The rest of it looks fine. I'm going to check mark it. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to take the clouds 
and they have to be above what you're going to fill. So I'm going to fill Don't Make Zeus Angry, so I'm moving the clouds above. I'm going to go to my flyout menu, create clipping mask, and now I've got the clouds inside of the letters. I'm gonna, I can move the clouds around. I can even go Command T as long as I'm on the clouds layer, which I am. There's my bounding box. I'm gonna hold the shift and the option so that I resize it and don't change the, don't distort the clouds and it resizes from the center. So maybe I'll get some more stuff going on. And then if I want to add something like a drop shadow or a bevel, I have to do it on the type layer. So I'm gonna double click in the empty spot. I'm gonna add a bevel. I'm gonna make the bevel a three. I'm going to make it a chisel hard. So it's a very slight bevel. I'm gonna add a drop shadow. And when you have, one of the nice things about drop shadow, it's one of the only ones, if you move into the picture plane, you get the move tool, you can actually move the drop shadow around. Um, I'm going to turn off Use Global Light and because I just want the drop shadow to be fun. So there's our drop shadow. So see, I can move it around. Don't make Zeus angry. And then I'm going to add, just because we haven't worked with blend modes that much, here's our picture of Chile. And I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to hold the command key, the control key on the PC so that it goes underneath. I'm going to pick this, uh, go to my eyedropper tool with the I keyboard shortcut and notice the ring. See, as I go around, it's showing me my new color. That's the color ring. I want a nice blue. Let's see. Get a nice, there we go. I'm going to fill it with the keyboard shortcut. And I never remember which is foreground and which is background. I'm going to try command delete. Nope, that's the background. Option delete, which would be alt delete for you PC users. See over here, I've got blue. The blend modes work on the layer behind it. I'm going to just experiment. I'm going to go to screen. Whoa. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go to hard light. Wow. I think I like that. I'm going to try a couple more. Hue. No. Doesn't work for me. Overlay. Not bad. Overlay is kind of nice. I think. Was it hard light that looked pretty good? Hard light. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with hard light. The other thing I'm going to do, now don't forget I shrunk the clouds and I, I wasn't using a smart object. Now make sure when you see a little arrow like this pointing downwards, it's saying I'm clipped to the layer below me. That's exactly what that language is right there. I do want the type to be bigger. I'm going to go back to the character panel. Remember, I don't, and I'm going to change it to 72. I don't have enough sky. I don't think it'll get too degraded if I make the sky just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about aspect ratio here, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm, and I'm going to try, just for fun, since I'm, I've got effects going on, I'm going to go to the Outer Glow. And the Outer Glow is defaulting at white. I'm going to increase the size of the Outer, outer Glow. And I think I'd like to have a light blue. I'm going to go with that. So let's see if... We don't have it if it makes a difference. Yes, it does. It's on screen. You can change it to normal. So it's automatically on the screen blend mode for glow. And there's our glow. Let's see how it looks with both a glow and a drop shadow. Mm, not so much. I think I'll go with the glow. So there you have it. Type on a path. Clipping mask. 
and we did a little bit more with blend modes. I'm going to click OK here, and I'll see you in the next lesson.